Here is your latest African news bulletin. Ghana Ghana's parliament is set to debate a draft bill which seeks to introduce some of the harshest anti-LGBT laws on the continent. The bill seeks to increase jail terms up to a decade and force some to undergo conversion therapy where attempts are made to change people's sexuality. Cross-dressing and public displays of same-sex affection would be punishable by fines or detention. The bill is being debated in parliament with a vote expected in a few days. Nigeria Nigeria launches Africa's first digital currency. Nigeria has become the first country in Africa and one of the first in the world to introduce a digital currency to her citizens. President Muhammad Buhari said in a televised speech at the launch in Abuja, the capital. The adoption of the central bank digital currency and its underlying technology called blockchain can increase Nigeria's gross domestic product by $29 billion over the next 10 years. The digital currency is expected to boost cross-border trade and financial inclusion, make transactions more efficient as well as improve monetary policy according to the central bank. South Africa South African cricketer skips World Cup match after defying South African knee order. South Africa's Quinton de Kock hurled himself in the eye of the storm after skipping Tuesday's 2020 World Cup match against West Indies and defying a team order to take a knee which could jeopardize his further participation in the tournament. De Kock's move came hours after Cricket South Africa instructed the team to adopt a consistent and united stance against racism by taking a knee prior to the start of their remaining matches. South Africa captain Temba Bavuma revealed at the toss that the stumper batsman had withdrawn from the Group 1 match in Dubai over personal reasons. Burkina Faso Burkina Faso resumes trial of Thomas Sankara's alleged killers. The trial of 14 men including Burkina Faso's former president accused in the assassination of left-wing leader Thomas Sankara 34 years ago resumed at a military court in Ouagadougou on Monday. The slaying of Sankara, a Pan-African icon, has for years cast a shadow over the Sahel state, fueling its reputation for turbulence and bloodshed. He and 12 others were riddled with bullets by a hit squad on October 15, 1987 during a push that brought his friend and comrade in arms Blaise Compaore to power. 12 of the 14 accused were in court, including General Gilbert Diandere, a senior army leader at the time of the 1987 coup. The trial resumed with the presentation of a list of 60 witnesses that the court wants to hear, including by video link for those who are abroad. Among the witnesses are former French Foreign Minister Roland Dumas, former Culture Minister Jack Lang and Jean-Christophe Metterin, son of late President François Metterin. Sudan EU diplomats seek to meet Sudan's deposed Prime Minister. European Union diplomats in Sudan want to meet deposed minister Abdullah Hamdok, whom they recognize as the constitutional leader of the transitional government. Mr. Hamdok returned to his home with his wife on Tuesday evening, a day after the military detained him and some cabinet ministers following a coup. He is said to be under heavy security in his home in the capital Khartoum, according to news agencies. In a statement, the EU said it is paramount for the ambassadors based in Khartoum to be able to communicate with the Prime Minister. It also called for the release of all political detainees and unfettered humanitarian access throughout the country. Africa-wide African Union suspends Sudan over coup the African Union has said it suspended Sudan from all its activities after the Sudanese military overthrew the civilian-led transitional government in a coup. In a communique, the Pan-African body said the suspension would be in place until the effective restoration of the transitional authority steering the country towards elections. Thanks for watching. Visit our news website weloveafrica.net to stay updated with all the latest African developments and future events. Remember to share, like and leave your comments below.